More than 20 years ago, a Filipino priest, Cristobal Garcia, fled the U.S. after he was accused of sexually molesting two altar boys. In an interview with Dallas Morning News in 2005, he admitted having sex with these boys who were then in their teens, but he claimed that one of them seduced and raped him. The Dominican religious order expelled Garcia. He returned to his hometown in Cebu. But guess what? He was welcomed by Cardinal Julio Rosales, now deceased, who took in Garcia as a priest in the Archdiocese of Cebu. Later, Cebu Archbishop Ricardo Cardinal Vidal, successor of Rosales, promoted Garcia to Monsignor. Not only that, he was allowed to work with young men in a monastic religious group. The Dallas Morning News reported that Garcia also supervised a squad of altar boys. Another surprising development is that the Vatican suspended Garcia only in June this year, or 27 years after the crime was committed. This shows the tolerance of the Vatican towards sex offender priests and the extremely slow pace of its sanctions. What is clear in this chain of events is that high church officials in the country coddled an erring priest. The Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines needs to put its house in order and show zero tolerance for sexual misconduct.